KVR Maths Academy, Maths in Easy Way. Hi viewers, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss third and fourth problems in exercise 4.2 in pair of linear equations in two variables of 10th class mathematics. Right? Yes, before doing these problems, viewers, please subscribe my YouTube channel, those who are not subscribed yet. Thank you. Yes, let's go through this. Yeah. See, this is the third question in exercise 4.2. Yes, the larger of two supplementary angles exceeds the smaller by 18 degrees. Find the angles. The larger of two supplementary angles exceeds the smaller by 18 degrees. Find the angles. Yes, here supplementary angles given. Supplementary means sum of the angles is equal to 180 degrees sum of the two angles is equal to 180 degrees then those are called supplementary angles complementary means sum of the two angles will be equal to 90 degrees right yes here in two supplementary angles the larger angle exceeds the smaller by 18 degrees right yes let us solve solution yes let the pair of supplementary angles b x and y say one is x and another is y suppose here larger angle uh, x and smaller angle y can take larger is larger angle is x and smaller angle is y i am taking larger angle is x and smaller angle is y so that's why x is greater than y i am taking x is greater than y so now from the data the larger of two supplementary angles exceed the smaller by 18. no supplementary angles means sum of the two angles is 180 degrees no so that's why here x plus y is equal to 180 degrees x plus y is equal to 180 degrees this is take as equation number one next from the data the larger of two supplementary angles exceed the smaller by 18 no so that is only write down the larger of two supplementary angles angles exceeds the smaller by 18 degrees 18 degrees only so therefore so x is equal to y plus 18 see larger angle is equal to smaller angle plus 18 only why here clearly given exceeds the smaller by 18 that's why y plus 18 so otherwise how can you write this is x minus y is equal to 18 this is equation number two right let us solve the equation one and two so here plus y is there minus y is there so that's why add these both yes one plus two gives one plus two gives see this is x plus one is y is equal to 180 and x minus y is equal to 18 minus y plus y get cancelled 2x is equal to yes 198 x is equal to 198 by 2 2 how many times 290 nice so x is equal to 99 degrees so x is equal to how much we have got 99 degrees next uh, x is equal to 99 substitute in equation number one right so 99 degrees is equal to y plus 18 so what that implies y is equal to 99 degrees minus 18 degrees that is 81 degrees so x is equal to 99 degrees and y is equal to 81 degrees see if you add 80, uh, 18 degrees to 81 we get 99 or not so it exceeds by 80, uh, 18 degrees or not exactly therefore finally write down conclusion therefore the required pair of 
angles angles are yes biggest is 99 degrees and the smallest is 81 degrees have you understood clearly yes note it down next fourth question the taxi charges in hyderabad are fixed along with the charge for distance covered for a distance of 10 kilometers the charge paid is 220 rupees for a journey of 15 kilometers the charge paid is 310 so what are the fixed charges and charge per kilometer what are the fixed charges and charges per kilometer next how much does a person have to pay for traveling a distance of 25 kilometers yes come again a taxi charges in Hyderabad are fixed along with the charge for the distance covered right so fixed charge is there next after fixed charge along with that for every kilometer some amount is there charge so for a distance of a person traveled for a distance of 10 kilometers and he paid 220 rupees and another person ja traveled 15 kilometers and charge paid is 310 rupees so what we have to find finally what are the fixed charges and charge per kilometer fixed charges how much and ch charge per each kilometer how much we have to find next uh, how much does a person have to pay for traveling a distance of 25 kilometers let us find a yes, solution look here let the fixed charge for the taxi let the taxis fixed charge is equal to fixed charge b rupees x b rupees x and uh, and the charge for charge for 1 kilometer b rupees y so fixed charge is x and for 1 kilometer y rupees right yes now for a distance of 10 kilometers from the data for a distance of 10 kilometers charge paid charge paid is equal to how much s rupees 220 yes first fixed charge fixed charge x rupees plus 10 kilometers now 10 into for kilometer y rupees so x plus 10 y is equal to 220 so have you understood this equation first fixed charge x after that for every kilometer y rupees only now so that's why 10 kilometers uh, he traveled now that's why 10 into y x plus 10 y is equal to 220 rupees so let us think this is equation number one right next in the same way for 15 kilometers for a distance of distance of 15 kilometers charge paid is equal to how much s rupees 310 isn't it yes here also same fixed x rupees after that 15 into y is equal to 310 this is equation number two here fixed charge and after that 15 kilometers now 15 into y rupees that is equal totally he paid 310 rupees right yes so let us solve these two equations here x is there here x is there so 1 minus 2 let us do 1 minus 2 gives 1 minus 2 gives x plus 10 y is equal to 220 and x plus 15 y is equal to 310 so minus only now minus 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 change the symbols now so plus x minus x get cancelled 10 y minus 15 y minus 5 y is equal to 220 minus 310 minus 90 minus minus get cancelled y is equal to 90 by 5 that is 18 so here y means yes 
charge for 1 kilometer is equal to 18 rupees. Yes, here y is equal to y is equal to 18 substitute in equation number 1. Yes, x plus 10 into 18 is equal to 220. x is equal to 220, 10 18 is a 180. If you transcend this side, that will be minus 180. So, x is equal to 220 minus 180 as 40. So, x is a fixed charge. Fixed charge is 40 rupees. So, here what he asked, what are the fixed charges and charge per kilometer? No? Yes. So, first that is only right. First one, cha fixed charge. Fixed charge is equal to rupees 40 x only in a fixed charge next uh, charge per charge per kilometer is equal to rupees 18 charge per kilometer is equal to y only now y is equal to 18 we have got no yes that is 18 a yes, second one what has give how much does a person have to pay traveling distance of 25 kilometers yes a person have to pay for the distance of 25 kilometers is equal to what is the equation we should write x plus here 10 kilometers means 10 y 15 kilometers means 15 y here 25 kilometers means 25 y x plus 25 y only x means here 40 plus 25 into y is 18 so 40 plus 15 18 5 is a 90 9 is there 18 2 is a 36 45 that is equal to rupees 490 so he has to pay 490 rupees to traveling a distance of 25 kilometers have you understood clearly yes not it on Okay viewers, if you like my video, please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much.